Rest in peace, it's with heavy heart we report about tragic death of actor Tommy Reddig from TV's Lassie. Tommy Reddig was a familiar name of American cinema. He was best known as a child actor in a popular television series, Lassie. He was reported by the press to have died on February 15, 1996 at his home at the age of 55. The cause of death was diagnosed as a heart failure. Tommy was born on December 10, 1941 in Jackson Heights in the Queensboro of New York City. He became acquainted with acting at the age of six. He played the role of Little Jack in Annie Get Your Gun in 1954 he auditioned with 500 people for the role of the film Lassie and was selected. However, life as a famous child actor left him feeling suffocated and unprepared. He told the studio that he just wanted to be a normal person and then shorten the contract period. Besides, he shared that the salary he received in the movie Lassie was really very little even though his role was very successful. After Lassie ended, Tommy was offered a guest role in the ABC episode, The Ghost. He played a young inheritor named Steve Carter. In the episode, he performed the song, The Streets of Loretto, and received much praise from the director. When he was 18 years old, he graduated from college in Los Angeles. He then appeared in the episode, The Ghost of La Fit, as Pierre. One year later, he was invited to participate in the movie Wagon Train as a guest. The series later became a hit and reached the second highest number of viewers in the chart of television series in the U.S. He played a little boy named Billy who was abandoned by his teammates during an Indian attack. He escaped on his own and gained the respect of his father. Another role that made him more noticeable was in the movie Peter Gunn in 1961. He played a gymnast who stood up to protect his mother from his stepfather, Mark Eustace. One of Tommy Reddick's memorable movies was Davy's Friends. He took on the role of a Texas independence fighter named Joel Walter Robinson. Years later, he joined his contemporary co-star, Tony Dow, in the movie Never Too Young. Besides, he joined the music industry with the group The TR4. Soon he became their manager. Tommy participated in composing music in the hope that they would be chosen as theme songs for films. During his years of artistic activities, Tommy was entangled in false rumors related to drugs. In 1972, he was suspected of cultivating cannabis on the farm and possessing cocaine. However, the short time later, he was vindicated. However, in an interview with the Times, he revealed that he used drugs and that he supported it. He said, the use of drugs has been made synonymous with the abuse of drugs. For the most part, they are natural substances and have been around long before man. Prohibition never worked. Education is the answer. I think one can achieve a certain growth with it, drugs. He backed a California attempt to legalize marijuana in 1983. He stopped his acting activities in the 1980s when he realized how difficult it was to change the image of a child actor at the time. He decided to become a motivational speaker. Not long before, he was also known as a famous author and expert on programmers. 
He was one of the first to establish D-Base, Clipper, Fox Base, and finally, Fox Pro. Rest in peace, legendary actor Tommy Reddick.